Hello Scale Movers! In the first episode of the Gripen series, we are going to assemble a detail paint and weather the cockpit of our scale model. First, I remove the plastic details that are in the way of the photo edge parts. Next thing to do is to remove the photo edge details from the tree, clean them up and put them in place using CA glue. Let's move on to assembling the main pieces of the cockpit. I added some extra details from plastic beam and soldering wire. This is how the cockpit looks in this stage. Moving on to the ejection seat, I had to remove most of it. After enough of the seat was gone, I started reassembling it with photo edge parts. I didn't like how the headrest looked, so I had to do my own. No footage though. The seat doesn't look bad at all, I think. To start the painting, I shoot a coat of black primer. Moving along, I masked off the areas that had to be black. The rear deck received light grey dry brush.
For the grey color of the interior I have chosen RLM76. To paint the bezels of the MFDs I used micro pigment ink pen with 0.2 mm tip. To give the black areas a bit of faded appearance I carefully spread highly diluted grey paint on some panel centers. To prepare for weathering wash I applied gloss clear. And here goes the wash. I picked up some details with light grey paint. And on top of it all I spread fat coat. The MFD screens I recreated using PVA glue. After the glue dries it gets nearly transparent. To imitate switch off monochrome monitor I painted the back of the screen in dark green. To paint the seat backrest and the bottom I applied olive drop color in several light layers. I added some white paint to the base color and created highlights. To make the details on the black portion of the seat pop I gave them dry brush with light grey. For the seat belts I have chosen a color called dark earth. Again, by mixing the base color with some white, I added highlights. For the belt buckles I used silver pencil. To add more details to the seat I added suitable decals that I found in the spare box. Finally the seat was clear coated with a flat clear. And that is how the finished seat looks. Make sure that you have subscribed and join the notification team because in the next episode there is going to be photo edge bending, modifying, 
analyzing, scribing, assembling, and more. Until then, check out my other series. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy modeling!